Hey guys, I'm Matt Hernandez. Today we're going to talk about when to use grids with strip banks and when not to. Okay, so we're in the studio. We've got just a simple black background. We've got two one by three strip banks on FJ400s. And then we have a third FJ400 up top on a boom angled down to make the lighting dramatic with a Manny Ortiz beauty dish with diffusion. We also have diffusion on the strip boxes. And then we have a fourth light to add some color into our shadows with, um, I guess that's like a teal color of a, a gel, um, down low, another FJ400. And then the, the, the strip banks actually have flexi gels on them. They have amber gels. So we're using green and yellow pretty much. They kind of go together really well. So that's why, we're, that's why we're mixing those specific colors together. I've got this one angled down low because the beauty dish is going to make shadows underneath and then this is going to fill them in green. So just kind of a, a different kind of dramatic, colorful approach to this. Um, we've got a model that's got that that shoots bow and arrow and we've got him. We kind of just made it up, but it's like all black with with um, it's actually a, a tactical weighted vest that I that I work out in sometimes. But I thought it kind of looked like military ish. So I don't really know exactly what we're going for, but that's kind of the look uh, for the shoot. So we're just going to do some simple portraits of him, but I wanted to talk about strip banks and edge lights specifically today. So there are certain times when you need grids and certain times when you might not need grids. So today I'm going to show you both what they look like. We're going to use fog atmosphere aerosol behind the model to add some drama and a cool effect. And so those strip boxes are going to light the fog. I'm going to show you the difference between when, the, when they have the grids on them and not. So normally I would have the grids because the grids are gonna focus the light. They're gonna direct it in a specific, specific area that's very intentional. And also on top of that, they're also gonna reduce the amount of flare, which they shouldn't give any flare. Lights give you flare whenever the camera can see them. So if they're pointed at the camera at all and, they can, and the camera can see them go off, then more than likely you're gonna have some. Depends on the modifier as to how much and what kind, and what shape the flare is. Because we have two layers of diffusion on these soft boxes, it's probably going to be more like spread out. Whereas when you use deep focus reflectors, you might get like little beads of, of flare. So if, if we don't have grids, then more than likely with these aimed at us, unless they're backed way up, which the further we back them up, the harder the light's going to be. So that kind of negates the diffusion if we back them up too far and they also lose power. So we'll take the shot with the grids on, with the grids off, and you can see the difference. So there's a benefit to, to either way, really, and it just kind of depends on the scenario and what you're looking for. Okay, all right. Gabe, you want to go, go ahead and stand in your spot there? Yeah, go ahead and get the bow. No arrow, though. No arrow, yeah, you're good. Okay, so I'm tethering to my laptop with Capture One so I can see what I'm, what I'm doing, make sure the exposure's right and all that, everything's in focus. I usually typically try to do that in the studio. And we're on this, the, Ace, the Sony A7R5 today, like I said, with the 70 to 200 2.8. Okay. All right. So, all right. So tilt your head just a little bit this way and then pull it out. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start out actually before we do anything, I'm going to test the edge lights first. Oop, that's my fill light. So I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to turn on, I'm going to take an ambient first. So we're at 1 2 50th. F 6.3 ISO 100. So now we're going to turn the edge lights on. Okay. And I can already tell I am getting some flare there. So even though I have these lens hoods on or the lens hood on and the lights aren't like super uptight on him, you can still see flare. All right. And then now let's turn the main light on. Or actually, we'll turn the fill light on in front first. Okay, so I get our, our green shadows there and then turn the main light on, which I have up top angled down just for drama to add more shadows. And there we go. So that's, that's a really cool dramatic look, but you can see, and which that doesn't ruin it for me. There's flare on the sides, but that is what can happen whenever you have that. So, but it is, it is giving me really nice edge lights. And it's important to note too, that they're, they're behind him. There are a couple, there are a few steps behind him. If they're up too far, then that's going to let the light creep around onto his nose, which we don't want. We just want it on the edges of him. And we also want to make sure it's not blown out too. So there's still detail in his skin, right? So the exposure looks great. That's exactly what we want. So now we're going to add in, I'm going to put the grids on first, just so you can see if there's any difference with that. And then we'll use the, the atmosphere in the background to see what, how different they look when we do that. All right. So let's 
let's put these on real quick. So hold that like you're about to shoot it. And then, I, so but lower it a little bit. There you go, now I want you to look this way. Like keep your shoulders here and then turn your head that way. Right there, good. Tilt your head just a little bit that way. Make sure you're standing up tall, chest up. There you go, good, that's perfect right there. Okay, actually, you know what? Pose exactly how you posed the first time. Let's see if there's any difference. Okay, turn your shoulders to me more. Right there, pull your head out. Right there, good. Okay, so let's look and see here. So the lights, so I lost a little bit of power and the edge, the light is not, it's not as bright and it might be, it's, it's the same direction. We didn't move the lights. So really, so grids and diffusion will both cause you to look to lose, to lose power a little bit, but the grids, what they are gonna do is, you can see there is no flare. So that's why you would put those on there in this situation to get rid of that completely, okay? So now let's add the atmosphere in and see, we'll do the grids first and then, and then we'll shoot without and check out that difference. There's fog right here. All right, stay there, Gabe. I saw you trying to wander off. <laughs> All right, go like this. Turn it, th turn it the other way like you're about to shoot it. Hold, yeah, so actually pretend like you're gonna point this way. Yeah, that's good. All right, so maybe pull your head up. All right, say so just like that. Yep. Do it one more time. I was a little bit late that, on that. Aim, aim that way, Gabe. There you go. And scoot, now scoot this way a little bit. Okay. All right. Hang on. Let me make this horizontal. Okay. And then make sure I can see your face so I don't block your face with your arm. All right. Go ahead. With the fog. All right. Pull it back. There you go. Good. Good. Okay. All right. Good. And let's do one, one more. Just stand, just like that, don't move. All right, one more time, Eli. Bend that arm with the bow just a little bit, just barely, right? Oh, not that much, just barely. Down, 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 down. Right there, good. Pull that head out a little bit. Right there, all right, go ahead with the fog. Good, all right. Okay, stay there. We're gonna take these off real quick and then do it again. All right, so you can see whenever I shot horizontal, there's a little bit of flare now because I, was, I, the, I could see the light more, and, but you can see the fog more also, especially on that right side. Okay. All right, go, don't move. All right, go ahead. Pull that head out just a little bit. And do one, I'm gonna have you aim one more time, okay? And go ahead, Eli, and go ahead and, as soon as he gets done spraying, pull it back. Perfect, yeah, there we go. Okay, big difference, wow, that's a huge difference. So there is, with the grids on and off, and then there's the grids on horizontal, as opposed to that. So you can see, so normally I would want the grids because I would want to get rid of the flare. But in this case with the fog, it's better not to have them because the fog shows up way better and way more even. Now it depends on where you spray it obviously, but he was pretty even where he sprayed it. So it's, it's way more dense and visible without the grids. So we had a quick one today. I hope that everybody enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so that you know when I post new content, there's gonna be a lot more to come. We'll see you again next time.